All right, so it's 3 p.m. on October 7, 2023, and Israel is under attack, not just from rocket fire, but armed terrorists who have infiltrated, taken hostages into Gaza. At least some reports, at least 100 hostages right now um, from southern Israel into the Gaza Strip. So as of 3 p.m., possibly 100 hostages, official uh, count accounts that at least 40 people have been killed and that more than 700, 700 740 have been injured. Um, I mean, this this kind of attack is absolutely unprecedented in recent times in Israel. Um, there are videos emerging mostly from Arab media of these kidnappings taking place and um, of already Israelis in the Gaza Strip. Uh, there are also videos of of bodies of soldiers i, I mean it's uh so far all coming from the palestinian media and from the arab media it's not confirmed but i did speak with a friend of ours who lives in a kibbutz right outside uh, gaza it's on the israeli side right uh, close to the gaza strip and uh he said we've got terrorists in the kibbutz it's going on outside right now we've got injured and killed people but we're not doing as bad as the other kibbutz five minutes away because that has been taken over. So um, another uh, friend, a friend of mine um, who is in touch with somebody down there, actually they heard the terrorists enter their house and they were hiding. Um, they have been uh, rescued when they were uh, finally rescued when the Israeli military got there and they came out of their hiding spot, there was blood all over their house which seems to be from an injured uh, terrorist who was in there. They were maybe looking for something to to patch him up, but um, that's still a developing situation. Um, so in, there was another video on that was published by, um, again, on the Arab channels, um, a Palestinian channel of one of the terrorists in a, in a home talking to the Israeli family in English. Um, but the kids are crying in Hebrew. Why are they shooting? Are they going to kill us? And uh, so the fate of this family remains unknown. The video ended without, um, you know, showing anything. And, and we don't know where that family is. Chances are they could also be the ones that are um, in the Gaza Strip at the moment. Um, and so the earlier today, uh, we saw videos come out of Hamas breaking through the border with a bulldozer. So it's a highly secured military border in, you know, between Gaza and Israel. And they broke through, uh, enabling dozens, and it's unknown how many exactly, dozens of armed militants to get through. Um, so right now we are under emergency. The whole country is under a state of emergency. Right now, uh, residents are being ordered to stay in their homes, especially in the South. The roads in the South are, are blocked. And they're trying to seal off and capture anybody uh, who's out there on the loose. Um, we have no idea how long the situation is going to last or when it's going to get under control. Uh, here in Jerusalem, uh, we've had seven rounds of sirens. Uh, I don't know how many rockets that equal, but we were out uh, seven times. Uh, it's very rare for Jerusalem to get this many rockets, especially in one day, where much further range than uh, other areas. The rockets seem to have quieted down now. So right now, it's just an ongoing hostage hostage situation, more or less, in the South. Um, so as the news emerges, we'll try to get a handle on this. But right now, I'm just being very careful in what goes out because um, a lot of the videos are put out for propaganda purposes and it's something that you don't necessarily want to spread. And until, unless I speak with somebody directly, I, I don't want to necessarily pass on, I don't want to pass on information that that I can confirm or that hasn't been confirmed by several sources. But it is safe to say that Israel hasn't experienced anything like this in 50 years since the outs uh, onset of the Yom Kippur War on October 7th, 1973. That's the nation was caught by surprise back then, and it looks like history has it repeated itself right now as well.